obtain the minimum unbiased estimator for an exponential distribution. And this is the distribution using the Camaro inequality. How do we go about this? First, we will recall that the Camaro inequality is given by one all over n expected expectation of the differential mean in this case we have alpha so this is the grammar rule inequality and this is the function given All we need to do, we just take the log and with this. If we take the log, we have to take the log, we have here, I mean, alpha. If you take the log of this, you have minus alpha x. So this is it. What next? We take the differential. So if we differentiate, differentiate with reference to alpha. So we have this. If we say this, we get 1 all over alpha. If we differentiate this, we get x. All we need to do is we compare with the grammar rule inequality. What we do is to take the square first and the expectation. So we have something like this. All square. Which is equal to if you take this way, yeah, we have one over the alpha so minus two x all over alpha plus x squared. So when we get this, all we need to do is to take the expectation. The expectation now it was one over the alpha squared. Minus two expected value of x all over alpha plus the expected value of x squared. We also need to recall that from the exponential distribution, expectation of x is equal to 1 all over alpha, while expectation of x squared is equal to 2 all over alpha squared. So all we need to do is just to substitute this into this point. So by substituting, by substituting this, we have 1 all over alpha squared minus 2 multiplied by 2 all over alpha multiplied by 1 all over alpha plus the effective value of x squared, which is this, which is 2 all over alpha squared. So we have 1 all over alpha squared minus 2 all over alpha squared plus 2 alpha squared. The whole of this will give us 0. So our answer will now be 1 all over alpha squared. If we now compare it with 
the crime and road inequality, N, which is the expected value of this, all over this. We have N times 1 all over alpha squared, which is equal to N all over alpha squared. So finally, since our prime rule is equal to 1, 1 all over N, expected value of this, We have it to be since this is one all over here it changes, so we have alpha square all over n. So for the exponential distribution, this is the value we get when we use the Kramer rule inequality to solve for the lower bound. <laughs> 